Welcome. This is an updated video to the ULN 2003 Darlington Transistor Array with examples. The other video I put out roughly 10 years ago uh, needs to be updated and this is that replacement and hopefully with better graphics and better sound. You're looking at the device right here in the middle of the screen. It is a 16 pin device. It has eight, no excuse me, seven inputs. All connect directly to an Arduino or TTL digital circuit without resistors. The seven outputs are open collector. This is a high gain Darlington transistor output, which we will check below in a moment. Each output is rated for 50 volts at 500 milliamps. We also have, nah, let's see, seven spike suppressor diodes that are built internally and come out to a common pin here at nine. They, if you're using non-magnetic loads like light bulbs or whatever, you can leave this um, disconnected or if you're using magnetic loads, connect this to the positive VCC. And of course, pin 8 is ground. Here is the internal schematic, of course, um, of, the 2000, two, of the 2003. You have an input 2.7K re resistor. Here is your Darlington transistor connection with various ballast resistors. And they have... The external diode, as I showed you earlier, plus the, the trans output transistor itself has a spike suppressor diode as well. Let's move on down the page. Here is a typical example, for instance, we're using an Arduino and we're using the ULN 2003 to drive four PNP transistors that drive four coils. Um, these could be relays, these could be contactors, or they could be the coils inside of a unipolar stepper motor. Here are some uh, resistors here. They're generally about 1K in this application, and so forth. As shown here, the ULN 2003 can directly drive small low power stepper motors, but generally you're going to you want, if you're going to use anything that has a lot of power, you're going to have to use external transistors. Because of the open collector configuration, you will have to use a PNP or perhaps a PNP Darlington as shown here. This is a driver board that I constructed. It consists of four, and it is the schematic. It is this schematic with some additional diodes and blinking LEDs. This is connected to a unipolar stepper motor. Here is an illustration of how to connect it to an Arduino. For instance, goes to the board. Here's your coils coming out and so forth. I actually had, I used four of the seven drivers and I still had three left over. Here are some internal characteristics that you can see. Again, that's the uh, TIP125. This is sort of how the transistors again are connected. That's the output to the coil. The coil runs to ground. All right, here we are connected to seven separate low power light bulbs. In this case, it's just straightforward. You connect the light bulb to the appropriate output and connect it to the plus 24 volts. And what can you say? You got seven inputs, seven outputs on seven light bulbs and each can be done individually. Moving on down, for higher voltage applications, of course, you can use relays as shown here, 
and the relays will handle for instance the 120 volts AC these could be 120 volt lamps and the relays will isolate that high voltage from the from the driver chip and finally let's talk about paralleling outputs and inputs <coughs> That is what is shown here. Remember that I said that each output is good for 50 volts at 500 milliamps, but according to the spec sheet, the maximum current total is only going to be 2.5 amps. You're going to think 7 times, it's going to be uh, 3.5 amps. Uh, no. In the case of this, if you put three of them in parallel, in theory, it could drive 1.5 amps. Take my advice, never operate these things at maximum. Derate down to 70%. So if the max is 1.5 amps times 0.7, we're going to have about one amp max off these three pins, not 1.5. That's the safe way to do things. So I paralleled three outputs for one motor, paralleled three outputs for another motor, left me an extra one for an indicator light. And you can connect this to whatever microcontroller or whatever you need to do. And again, these are small, perhaps one amp DC motors. And that's this quick review. There's not a whole lot else to say. Thanks for listening and visit my website at www.bristolwatch.com.